Hello, good morning and welcome to the AMUs with me, Mabisa Sibidi. Now, former Special Prosecutor Martin Amelu is fighting back what he says are attacks on his person following his resignation this week as Special Prosecutor. He's warning that the repercussion could be dire if what he describes as the mudsling against his hard-won reputation does not stop. And in that even if it costs him his life, he will defend his integrity. Mr. Amelu says he feels pushed to speak and that his life is under attack. All these threats about burgling me, I'm robbery, burning my house. I'm aware. I tried to call Kandapa, he didn't pick it. And I got a former national security advisor to, to contact him and tell him. And I know the persons involved, I can name them. I reserve it for the meantime. They are bugging your I house. I put my life on the Republic of Ghana, and the president will be responsible for anything that happens to me. I said, burglary. Okay. They will rob me. Okay. They will burn my house. Look, I am telling you that the intelligence is there. And I, have, I called the Minister for National Security. He didn't pick it. But I got a former National Security Advisor to speak to him. And this fact is now known. And I'm saying that the President will be responsible for anything that happens to me. Are you safe, sir? What? I'm safe. I'm a Ghanaian. I don't see anything. And as I said, to die in the cause of fighting corruption is what I started with President General Lawrence uh, since the first December 1981. And I'm not going to leave it because uh, some people think that they can threaten me. I don't give a damn about that. We wish you all the best, sir. And Ghanaians would be waiting to hear you respond to some of the issues that were raised by the presidency when you deem it. Well, free. well, I have told you that if they don't stop, I will respond. As to what I will do, I will reserve that to myself. But as I said, whatever happens to me, I lay my life on the Republic of Ghana. And the president has a constitutional duty to provoke, to protect me. I don't need any security at my house or to follow me. And anybody who makes an attempt, he will have himself to blame. Since you are a citizen vigilante, should members of the public who want to come and protect you do so? My friend, people have called and want to even come and cut loose from Boku and all that. And I've told them that these are all, uh, the, the, what they are hearing there are not true. Because as a citizen of Ghana, I mean, I'm entitled to save my mind and defend the constitution. 